What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back to inspire you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. I believe in you guys. Keep going. Don't give up. Since the advent of Fortnite, building and editing techniques have been a topic everybody loves. You know, we all love to have that slight edge over our friends and just stump them with the latest trick they haven't even learned yet. But, you know, is there all that is to it? I don't know. So, today's video, guys, this is the time. We're gonna be bringing you guys six new techniques you probably haven't even heard of before. We're gonna show you how to execute them and the best ways to perform them. So, ladies and gentlemen, for our question of the day, here we go. If you could only use one technique for the rest of your time playing Fortnite, well, what would that be? Let us know in the comment section. Really curious to find out. And just before we begin, if you want to improve at Fortnite, ProGuys.com has got you covered. We've got plenty of more techniques you can learn in our courses. Plus, you can schedule a private coaching session with one of our pros to learn even more. Like the video before we begin and sub to the channel if you already have it. Then follow the link in the description to start your path to improvement. Okay guys, starting off with the move that allows you to phase through turbo build with ease. Discovered by a player named SCP Anzer. This is the duo phasing trick. It's pretty simple, but you're gonna need to be in duos, trios, or squad match with at least one teammate still alive. One of you is going to phase through and the other is gonna make it happen. So, so to pull this off, you and your partner need to approach the same wall, right? The player jumping in sprints head on into the wall while spraying their weapon and the other player runs into them from behind while also spraying out the wall. All right guys, so if you do this right, the player in the back should nudge the one in front just enough to make the wall glitch and allow them right in. Phasing has never been so simpler. And that's it, really. Now, as simple as this trick may be, you know, it does have a few downsides. First, like, you know, with any other phasing trick, you're mindlessly, you know, rushing into an opponent's box, right? That means you've got to finish them off quickly. You know, with how random close range fights can be, performing this trick against somebody with lots of health is just gonna be too big of a risk. You're gonna be better off, you know, attacking from separate angles and maintaining your distance. All right, guys, so next up, it's a move that you can use to retaliate against wall takers invented by UK pro player Kylix. All right, here's how it's done. When an enemy places a backward ramp at your wall, you get close to the middle of your wall and edit the top right corner, right? Then you put a floor piece and punch out all the edit tiles except for the one on the close left. Afterward, you immediately place stairs above the floor and then pull out your shotgun and go for the easy right-hand peek. You know, what this move does is establish structure control, you know, making it impossible for your opponent to build cover, right? Because typically, you know, what skilled players will do as soon as they see the top right triangle edit is jump and put down a floor piece. But if you set your floor down fast enough before your opponent even can, theirs won't place. A smart player might try, you know, to set a cone after seeing, you know, you on the floor, but that's what the ramp is for, right? To block cone placements as well. So really, you know, there's nothing your opponent can cover themselves with unless they have their ramp and, you know, they have to move to another part of the building grid. You can see in this clip how Kylix used the trick to eliminate none other than Benji Fishy, and even he's confused as to what just happened. So all in all, you know, this technique requires a lot of practice to get down smoothly. But, you know, if you could do it similar to Kylix, you're going to be picking up kills left and right. Also, guys, next up is the sideways ramp. OK, so an older yet still useful move we saw pro player aspect use to counter the top right edit peak an attorney just last weekend. So, you know, in a traditional box fighting scenario, you're going to have both players trying to establish internal build control, you know, with either ramp or pyramid pieces, right? While there's really nothing necessarily wrong about using those two builds, they have their own downsides. A forward facing ramp needs to be edited to create an opening, which takes valuable time and a cone can potentially be used by, you know, your opponent for cover, which might end up backfiring. Plus, you know, when it comes to countering a top right edit peak, both of these pieces are very ineffective. So what Aspect did right here, and I mean like right here, was, you know, he pre-rotated his ramp a single time so that it was facing toward the right. He then placed it in his opponent's box whenever he could to counter their top right wall edits. You know, they go for a shot and, you know, it'd be blocked entirely. So once the stairs are placed, he then continues pressuring his opponent and eventually he even uses it for general peace control before he gets the kill. Though, you know, just like with any other technique out there, this one can be countered. So if your opponent has a cone or stairs inside their box, which, you know, some players do put down, your ramp won't place. Meaning, you know, you've got to be paying close attention, guys, to how the enemy is playing, right? And whether or not they have a piece already set inside. 
But still, you know, Aspect proved this move is definitely viable by pulling it off in a pro tournament. So if you can work against the best of the best out there, yo, you can use it to beat players in your matches as well. You gotta just remember to reset your ramp back to the default position once you're done. All right, guys, so moving on, we've got another counterplay that you can use while being attacked. This one utilizes an underrated stair edit to create a right hand angle to give yourself the edge in battle. All right, so for starters, you wanna begin inside your own box. When you see an opponent trying to take your wall, you face them and place a ramp. Then edit the ramp, starting from the top right, going down, left, and up again to create the letter U. Before you confirm though, all right, position on the left side of the ramp and jump. As you reach peak height, complete the edit, and you should end up on the top portion of your ramp, well behind cover. Now you have right hand peeker's advantage on the opponent that took your wall and opened it. All right, so you can also do it with the backward facing ramp as well. Although, you know, it's a lot harder to get the jump and edit timing down, so we prefer using a regular old stair piece. Look guys, usually, you know, there isn't really a great way to get those right side peaks while inside your box. Which is why this move is so incredible, but you know what I think, like what really propels it even further is how unpredictable it is. Pretty much nobody is gonna expect to set it, right? And since this puts you on that upper portion of the ramp, your opponent won't know where to aim or even how to defend themselves against your shots. So if the enemy is playing super carefully though, they can still hide behind cover to destroy your ramp. So if you see that happen, you've got a few options, all right? Either spray to apply pressure and prevent it, edit out into a side jump or, you know, something similar, or just pull out of your ramp and start turbo building to keep it. But usually, you know, players will expose themselves with like whatever edit they make. So in most cases, you know, you can proceed by just going for right hand shots. These final two techniques we're about to show you guys were created by YouTuber and fellow Fortnite enthusiast, Ryus Anami. He does some astounding work, you know, grinding out creative and coming up with a lot of intelligent techniques, so definitely check out his channel in the description if you end up liking what you see. But anyways, all right, so the first one here is a way to create cover for yourself while breaking into somebody's box. And Ryus Anami calls it the double door trick. All right, guys, so you start off by approaching somebody's one by one from above, right? Before you go about swinging at your opponent's cone, place a wall, create a door on the right side and open it. Then shift over to the right, pass your wall, so the open door is right in front of you. Okay, so from right here, I mean like right here, you can start taking their pyramid and placing it with your own. Once you do that, edit it open and go for their floor as well. Though you might be better off, you know, using a spray weapon, you know, to take their floor piece since the pickaxe hitbox is sort of buggy in this position, you know, once you've got both pieces, edit through, stay close to your door, and then just go for some shots. This door edit trick works so well because, you know, it's really typical for players to sit inside their box and, you know, and just counter down assaults with a jump shot. You know, they'll wait for you to take their cone, right? Then they'll just get close to their wall, edit their floor, and just go for a jump shot that's like next to impossible for you to react to. So this little door right here adds some cover and really makes those shots a lot harder to hit. Although the move does have its weaknesses, you know, first being the setup time, you know, some players might just expand to a new base when they see what's going on. So to prevent that, you can just preemptively just place floors and cones around their box so that, you know, if they do move, you already control the pieces above them. Another downside is that, you know, some players might just spray at you and your wall while you're so busy trying to replace it. But, you know, if you use metal instead of wood, the wall you stand close to, you know, should give you guys time enough to put down for more cover. All right, guys, so this final technique is a phasing trick that you can use to sneak in a free shot when you have a ramp over your opponent. All right, so listen to this. So to start off, you need three things. An enemy player containing a box, you know, one of your ramps over top of them, and a pump shotgun. Sorry, tactical shotguns are no bueno right here. So begin by pulling out your shot here, right? Then editing the ramp. You need to create an upside down L edit here. So to start with either the bottom left or the bottom right tile, move up and then go right or left before you confirm edit though. All right, listen to this. You need to run up the stairs. And once you reach, you know, just past the inner corner where the stairs change direction, you complete the edit while still running forward. Then hold down your fire button and shoot your target through the ramp as soon as possible. So if you do this correctly, all right, the stairs should phase long enough to only allow your shot through, then they'll fix themselves and become solid again, blocking any sort of return fire. Not gonna lie though, like when we were testing this out at first, we kept messing up by either confirming too early or confirming too late. And even by like editing when we were in the wrong position. All of those caused, you know, this trick to not work properly. But once we started running up the ramp diagonally, it became a lot easier to figure out the timing. 
This one definitely needs a lot of practice to get down, guys. But once you learn it, oh my goodness, man, it is going to be fantastic. It's going to be the next level trick for free damage in box fights. All right, guys, this is your motivation guide. That is it for today's video. All right, so some of these techniques require more training than others, especially the Kylix trick. So you should be for sure spending some time in creative just to go over them. Let us know like which one of these techniques you already knew. I really wanna hear all the comments down below. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed the tricks, you gotta drop a like, sub to the channel, and turn on those notifications for more daily Fortnite content. And a shout out to all the innovators and players referenced in the video today. You can find their links in their channels down in the description. Once again, it's your guy, your motivation guy, Keith Allen. We'll see you next time.